The Rosemont Police Department is excited to participate in the 2022 Night to Unite because it offers us a chance in a non-enforcement setting to get out and engage with our community members. There's no question that's off the table. It gives us an opportunity to talk about a variety of issues. Despite the heat index of well over 100 degrees in the heat advisory, we have over 50 different neighborhood parties in Rosemont alone. And we're gonna get out to all 50 parties to some capacity. My favorite part about Night to Night is probably twofold. One, it's seeing the smiles on kids' faces when you get out and they get to interact with their police officers. My second would be the chance to answer community questions. You know, growing up, when I wasn't a police officer, I didn't have a lot of engagement with officers where I could actually spend time asking them questions, getting to know them, you know, besides getting pulled over on a traffic stop. So it gives us an opportunity to talk to those people in that setting. One of the other things we like about Night to Unite is it gives us a chance to learn from our residents. At a recent Night to Unite, I learned that not all of our residents are on social media. So we learned about the different platforms of communication and then we can adapt to fit the needs of all of our residents. We have many big projects and new initiatives that are coming up in the police department and we want to have an opportunity to talk to people about those things. For example, we have a new PD that's planned to be built in 2024. It's a huge project, we're super excited about it, and we can't wait to tell people about that project. The Rosemont Police Department will continue to participate in Night to Unite. Uh, we love the relationship we have with our residents. We feel the love and the support, and we're very thankful to serve the city of Rosemont.